has been a massive change of plans. Literally thunder just struck right next to us. The food has come out, it looks absolutely delicious. That is so good, oh my god. This trip to Lion Yon puts me in a right predicament. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really at a crossroad now because those two locations are absolutely stunning. No way, I saw like, an old lady today. And I'm definitely on. There has been a massive change of plans today. The plan for today was to hang out at the beach, enjoy the sun, go for a swim in the ocean and have some drinks for sunset. But as you can hear, it is raining so heavily right now in La Union and actually it seems there is a thunderstorm rolling up. I can hear some thunder in the background and every now and then you can see it flashing up, which is a really, really nice situation to be in because it has been so hot in the Philippines over the past few days, ever since that we got back from South Africa, that this is really cool and refreshing and actually nice. And just a few days ago, Ray and I were talking about how it's been months, dare I say years, since we experienced a nice thunderstorm. There's just something so peaceful about the chaos in a thunderstorm. I don't know if you feel the same way. If you feel the same way about thunderstorms, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'm just weird, but I'm sure there's other people out there that just um, feel like it's white noise, it's somehow calming, there's something very peaceful about it, and it's just very nice, so let, let me know. Anyway, our plans have changed. <laughs> so right now we're just waiting out the rain for a little bit, and then hopefully we'll go out to indulge in some delicious Filipino food. I have been really craving some inner sala, and apparently, there's a very good place here called LU Inner Sala. I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm excited to try it. So yeah, let's wait the weather out. I was just talking about the storm and literally thunder just struck right next to us. Thunderstorm. Uh, lightning just struck. Did thunder? No, li lightning struck next lightning, to us. Lightning, yes. Yeah. I think for us to issue the thunderstorm advisory warning. So yeah. yeah, it's nice. I like it. I love it. I'm enjoying this. What? The thunder. I love it. I love it too. But like it literally just hit right over there like in the sun. One of the poles. That's music now, isn't it? Yes, that's music now. <laughs> out it looks absolutely delicious and it comes with a sinigam and the sinigam mm, super salty nice and sour delish let's give this chicken breast a try and we've got our condiments yeah we got the condiments okay this is looking juicy this is looking very juicy give it a, give it a dip in the spicy condiments That is good. Tart, juicy, flavorful, smoky. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, I missed in the salt. You know, this soup is actually perfect for this weather because although the Philippines is officially in the summer season, it's raining here in La Union and it's quite, it's quite gone. The, the temperatures gone down quite a bit. I will assume, I don't actually know what's the temperature right now, but I think it's a little bit colder just because it's been raining and there's a little breeze from the ocean. So this Sinigang soup is perfect. Mm. Okay, so... Wow. It's salty, isn't it? Sour. It's really sour. It's like manginasal uh, soup. Is that manginasal is also yeah. sour? Yes, so manginasal... Well, yeah, you have the inside, the chicken oil, the sinigang soup. I want to get the... This is the liempo, right? Yes. We're still missing one dish, aren't we? Okay, look at this. Very nice. Get it. Yeah, it's spicy yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah. That is so good. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh yeah, very satisfying. I cannot be a disgrace to all the Filipinos, so yes, chicken oil, right? Oh, that's chicken oil. Back. I thought that's vinegar. That's chicken oil. Oh, I want chicken oil. Yeah. yeah. 
chicken oil yeah, let's put it in the chicken as well okay i believe it's my turn to try um this is a I believe hita with hita plus paa i believe or something like that um I don't know if that's special. I think that is special. And now that my rice is absolutely drenched in chili oil, uh, chicken oil, I can now try this. Very beautiful. And here's the condiments. Very spicy. I love that. with chicken oil I haven't been to mga nasala in a long time but was exactly how I remember it would be maybe even better because I love how charred it is I think they, there's also a little bit of um, it's, it's salty it's smoky it's very flavorful and it's cooked all the way through, which is a good thing. <coughs> Even though we have the parts that sometimes they get raw, this is very, this is cooked very well. And time for the soup. Really nice. I don't want to tell Mike, but I believe Mang Inasal and all the Inasal places, they just use Senegal mix and they solve that in a liter of water. I would like to guess, I'm so sorry if this is not true, but yeah, usually it tastes just like Senegal mix. I wish they would add a bit more of at least like onions or uh, tomatoes, but yeah, this is this is very delectable. This is very nice. I want to try the Liempo as well. Because I love grilling liempo. It looks very simple. It looks very simple, the liempo. It looks like it's marinated in soy sauce, uh, calamansi, and maybe some oyster sauce. Maybe some garlic as well. And then dip it in the spicy. Mmm! That medium for big. Mm. It's good, right? Mm, it's amazing. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. I love that. Okay, next up for today obviously has to be more coffee. We came to El Union. I don't know if you know this, but El Union has been around here for the longest time and coffee is always great. And you, you went absolutely crazy. What is that? So this is from Coco Mama La Union. I believe Coco Mama is also in Shergao, if I'm not mistaken, or Ube Mama. Or Baraka, yeah, yeah. So this is a small cup of their mixed scoop, which is the original oh, okay. small container, <laughs> small coconut vessel <laughs> of their uh, ice cream. So that's uh, the original coconut flavor and coco pandan, coco pandan, pandan, coco pandan, coco pandan, <laughs> brain fog, and uh, some mangoes on the side. And as you can see, like it's not just an empty shell, okay? It's an actual shell with the coconut uh, meat still in it. Yeah, that's good. You can see that, right? Uh -huh. and this is 220 pesos for this. Oh, wow. Not too bad. By the way, uh, lunch was, what did you say, 700 pesos for breast, leg, and liampo, and rice and everything, and the drinks that we had, coke, water. Yeah. I have to say, very affordable. Yeah, and it's nice that there are areas in the Union where 
um, prices are a little bit higher but also you get a more fancy more quality kind of food um, and also you get the affordable ones that are also still nice and still delectable the guilty pleasures I might say the Filipino food which is just in the below be, below the which is very fairly cheap price <laughs> I, need, I need some coffee too I'm getting brain fog <laughs> Well, for some reason right now, the sun is shining, but it is raining down on us at the same time. Quite uh, the beautiful skies, you guys. Quite confusing. Yeah, yeah. Back here, beautiful blue skies, but nonetheless... Oh, wow, guys. This trip to La Union puts me in a right predicament. As you guys know, we are selling the condo in BGC. And as we announced in a recent vlog, we want to split our time up kind of between the Philippines and another destination just to open our horizons a little bit and this channel will be mainly about Philippines content we will still provide content on this channel about that and also some other travel adventures that we're excited about but we always said and we've said this over the past two years we want to leave Manila to move to the province and right now we have a few locations that are very very high up on our list but we can't seem to decide which place would be best on a recent trip we went to Ilocos Norte and absolutely fell in love with Pagurpur. I mean, you have everything. It's a little bit cooler. You have the ocean with beautiful white sand beach. You have the mountains there as well. And also, it seems to be a lot quieter than more touristy places like La Union right now. La Union gets super busy during the weekends and a lot of people from Manila travel up to La Union and that is one of the benefits of La Union. It is so close to Manila. We literally can jump in the car and be in La Union in just a little over four hours. If we pick the driving time correctly and we don't have a lot of traffic, we can be there in less than four hours, which is absolutely amazing. But on the flip side, if we were to move to a place like Pagutput, we can just jump on a flight and fly directly to Lawag. It's a very short flight, just one or two hours, and you're there. And I think the cost of flying to um, Lawag is a little bit more than driving to La Union and back, considering toll roads, fuel, and so on. It just really depends on on the dates. But right now, the flights to Lawag are around 11,000 pesos for two people, return flights. Maybe the prices will be cheaper, but um, it's just it's such a hard decision to make because I always said I want to be close enough to Manila that I can always travel back for the coffee shop like we're opening the second location of Moors this year and there's just so many things that I have to always come to Manila for I'll never fully be able to leave Manila we also do have a second condo the Airbnb in BGC as well and we would be staying at that BGC whenever we're in Manila and whenever we're traveling it'll remain on Airbnb if you guys want to book that uh, Airbnb I'll put a link in the description box down below so you can check it out it's an amazingly beautiful Airbnb it's located on top of the Venice Grand Canal mall with a perfect view if you're into plane spotting you can actually do plane spotting from the balcony it's absolutely fantastic so there's so many points that talk that that are in favor of Lawak uh, sorry not Lawak that are in favor of Pagutput and there's so many points that are in favor of La Union like for example surfing in La Union without any doubt is better than surfing in Ilocos Norte but Ilocos Norte has so many different things to offer like you have the sand dunes you have the mountainous areas of Adams you have so there's so much to do there's an endless things to do you have South Beach and there's a whole area that I haven't even touched in that in that area of the Philippines like to the northeast that whole area I have never explored and being located in the north in Pagutput would make it so much easier to explore that area so phenomenal but then again at the same time if I look at La Union you have Baguio that's so close to La Union you can just go to Baguio within one and a half hours so you have a major city there you have a lot of infrastructure there you have hospitals um, and you are just always a little bit faster back in Manila than you are if you would have to fly from Ilocos Norte I think driving to Ilocos Norte is not realistic i've done it before you can do it i'm not saying that you can't do it but if we're thinking of long term and like i'd have to go between manila and ilocos norte once or twice per month uh flying is the only thing that makes sense because it would just be too stressful to drive 
and it would take much too long. So I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really at a crossroad now uh, because those two locations are absolutely stunning. Property prices are still fairly low if you find the right thing. And it's, you, there, I think there are so many opportunities. There are other places in the Philippines that I really love like Palawan, so El Nido, uh, Shagao. I really love that place. But all of those places require you to plan far ahead of trip. You have to fly. It's not so easy to uh, travel between those destinations and I just feel the need to stay in Luzon from an economic and business standpoint because of everything that I do have going on in Manila. But what are your guys thoughts like what other locations have I maybe not even considered? I know you have Batangas but I kind of uh, Batangas is too close to Manila for me because you still have kind of the um, huge metropolitan feel like you have the smog you have the fumes you have the traffic like that all still exists when you go to batangas even um but if you go up further north like as i said la union and ilocos norte that all calms down there's less traffic there's less pollution you by the ocean there's always a breeze and i think batangas is also quite expensive when it comes to properties you won't be able to get something as cheap as you can get in La Union and as you can get in the Locos Marte if you go to Batangas. That's just one of those other things that you have to consider. Of course, I do love Bicol as well. Uh, completely uh, uh, amazing place that I haven't even considered yet because you have a, an airport in Naga City, I believe. You have the airport in Legaspi and driving. Yeah, driving is quite long, but apparently there are expressways being built that will go all the way down, I believe even to Matnok maybe. But that will take a few years to um, kind of come to flourish to be developed, to be um, accessible to the mainstream. So I think for now, Bicol, even though I really love Bicol so, so much, it's one of my favorite provinces in the Philippines, hands down. I don't believe Bicol is very realistic right now, unless the expressways are done like way faster than I think they would be. Um, but to be honest, flights to Bicol are cheaper than flights to um, Pagutput, to Ilocos Norte. The flights definitely are cheaper. That might be because I think the flights to Ilocos Norte just started with Cebu Pacific flying there on a regular basis. So, yeah. And then, of course, like the other provinces are all amazing, but I have to be, I have to be close to Manila. I have to have that option that opportunity to jump in the car and be back in manila real quick or go to the airport take a short flight and be back in the city for emergencies for business meetings for um all sorts of things like even if i have a family emergency and i need to fly home fast i need to be able to get back to manila and on an international flight within the same day and i just think that certain locations would make that hard if it's not in luzon Anyway, in the grand scheme of things, let me know what you think. What is your opinion of this whole subject matter? Like what province in the Philippines do you like the most? What province offers surfing, hiking, fresh air, uh, little traffic and good property prices? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a dialogue. Let's have a little bit of a conversation. I think there's a lot of people out there that know way more than I do about this topic. And I'd really like to hear your opinion on that. So comments down below. Now, thank you for listening to me babble. We are going to go out and party in La Union next, something that we have never done. So, tarana. So we actually... I think that it's a picture. <laughs> so we actually, for a change, are out in La Union tonight. We came to Flotsam Jetsam because it's probably one of the most popular places to come to. We got some... We got some cocktails here. Nice vibe, good energy, good music, a lot of young people. I'm definitely on the older spectrum of the people that are here. No way, I saw like an and old I'm, lady today. And I'm definitely on. <laughs> so you're not what the you, old lady. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> and I'm definitely very far towards the Caucasian spectrum of the people here tonight, so I'm getting a lot of looks. Yeah, that I haven't seen yet. There's no white person here. <laughs>